Forgot to move my mic closer. Hello, everybody! Uh, starting a couple minutes late, but that's okay. I actually, yes! I moved my camera into a place where it does look pretty good. Let's do it a little more that way. Uh, I don't need you to see. Well, you can see like the plush and stuff. I don't know. Let me know if you prefer center frame or like this. I can do whatever. I'm also going to go through my stream, uh, watch some of my old streams, and set up some highlights and stuff. So if there's any particular moments you guys liked, um, let me know. And if you if you would be willing to watch through my old streams and like find specific moments, like I'd highly appreciate it. It's, it's going to be some work, but highlights are supposed to help your stream, so I'll do it. Also, I am going to do that test of uh, Fall Guys from the living room like I said I was going to do yesterday because I got the cable. I actually have the whole apparatus set up back there. I just got to bring it into the living room and use this mic. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's everything. So, uh, I think I might be able to beat Mario World on this stream. It's I, I'm halfway through, and it's like, yeah, it's been fairly easy. I was able to get through this in just the two. Ooh, the Force of Illusion, though, has always given me trouble. I, I know that there's, like, a trick to getting out of here. I think it's, like, one of the, the keys, but I don't... Ah, shit. <laughs> Bad start. Whoops. <laughs> Oops. But, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into this. Watch out for the wiggler. Whoop. Oh, no, my audio is out already. Curses. Shit. Ah, Koopa Troopa. Oh, hold on, let's see if let's see if this will help. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it don't. Come on. Where is it at? Where's it at? Let's turn that off. Turn it back on. Oh, oh. Yes. Yes, is it working? Come on. Come on. There we go. Ah, sometimes it takes it a minute. It's a little confusing. I don't, I don't fully understand why it does that. It, it's kind of telling. I was actually thinking earlier. It's like I spent some like 150 bucks on this Elgato, and it's it. The software has given me just a ton of pain. The hardware keeps giving me pain. But the meanwhile, the free OBS software that I got is just like so intuitive. Always works exactly the way I expect it to. Yoshi, no! Ah, oh, damn. I wanted that Yoshi. Oh, well. But yeah, I, I would highly recommend OBS for anybody who wants to get into streaming. I would not necessarily recommend uh, Elgato, but as it stands, it's kind of your only option, as far as I can tell. So, get out of here. Get out of here, dude. No, no, get out of here. Ah, damn it. I'm really... 
Really on my A game, eh? Yeah. I I'm negotiating. <laughs> I guess negotiating sounds like a bit too, uh, business of a term, but I am working out with another streamer doing a collab. Because Andrew, I mean, he streams. He, he used to stream more, but, you know, he also had troubles with Elgato, and it was just got to be too frustrating. The, the thing is, streaming, it's like, it's not that hard, but you have to have a really good connection, and you have to have pretty good hardware. If, you, if your hardware is not solid, it can be, um, it can be really annoying trying to get this stuff to work. So, keeping that in mind, uh, I, I would recommend it if you're interested in streaming, but just make sure that you have something that works. I think I have, um, I have a, a MacBook Pro, which I got as a gift. And I wouldn't necessarily uh, recommend as the best thing because Macs are, are kind of difficult to stream with. But that is an option. And it, it has a decent enough video card and stuff. I'd say that's like on the low end of what you could use. But I'd really recommend getting like a PC tower with like a really good graphics card. You know? Ghost house. A house full of ghosts. Whoa. Ah! No! Watch out. Whoa! I was actually just watching the Grumps play the, uh, the Boo course from, uh, whoop, from Mario 64, uh, Haunted Manor something? I don't remember what it was called. But I'm excited. I'm excited that game comes out soon. Comes out, um, tomorrow at midnight, really. Which, I, I did get the digital version pre-ordered. Shit. I did pre-order the digital version, so I will play a little bit of it at midnight, but I'm technically going to save the, the real playthrough for Friday through the weekend here, you know? Uh, and I'm going to change up... I am going to change up my schedule after this marathon. I don't know exactly how yet. I did just die. Oops. Ah, sadness. It's fine. I wasn't really that far into the world yet, so. No huge loss. Let's, let's just go through this one vanilla because I'm pretty sure I gotta go through for that key later anyways. Ah, shit. So, I'll just, I'll just have a bit of fun with it. No, the mushroom, ah, damn it. Fuck. Why am I having such trouble? Gotta, gotta zone in on this. Um, I did put out that video yesterday, which it, it has a single view, which I'm like 90% sure that's inaccurate. A lot of the like low, low number YouTube videos have some troubles in the beginning, so, um, I, I, it probably has more views than that, just from, like, my friend and family group. I, I, I don't really even necessarily care if that many people watch it, I just, like, I just enjoyed making it, you know? But, uh, if, if you'd be so kind, I'd appreciate it if y'all, uh, went and checked it out. I did put a lot of work into it, so, it would be... Quite bit but don't behooven of you. Um and I, I'm already considering I mean I have a, a whole like note on my iPhone full of ideas for videos of various types. From video essays to just stupid little meme jokes. All sorts of nonsense. So, you know, I, I also have many ideas of what I'm gonna stream. Uh once I get this PlayStation Four situations set up in the living room, which I think I should be good with what I got now. Although, I do still need to test it to be sure. Um, uh, I'll probably stream some Kingdom Hearts. Super excited to stream King Chain of Memories. Whoa! Wow, oh, I didn't know you could eat the Wigglers with Yoshi. Okay. Um, so, get excited for that. Chain of Memories is the best Kingdom Hearts. Don't at me. It, it just fully is. It's the one with the most clever 
like system. It's way more interesting than the first or even the second one. Uh, I would say, like, as far as the, the ones that are combat focused, like, Birth by Sleep is the first one that was genuinely really good as far as the combat goes. The, the, the other ones are okay. Uh, three's not great. I have, I played 358 over two, and I, I enjoyed that one a great deal. I thought it was pretty clever the way that they did it with, um, the mission system so that they could still show all the different worlds, but by not having them be, uh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that, but by not having them be just free roaming, and that makes sense, even, like, they made it make sense within the story because you're playing as Roxas while he was with Organization 13. So, it makes sense that they would send him out on missions and stuff, so they could be very particular about which parts of which worlds they included, make everything look super good. Real quick, no, Yashi! Um make everything look real nice, feel real nice. Uh, I know people hate Shion. I'm not a fan necessarily myself. I, I don't think she, she's just not much of a character to begin with, like she's, she's there, but she doesn't have much of a personality of her own. And that's kinda, that's kinda part of, of her character to begin with. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I get it. I get, I get the displeasure with her, especially when like there's so many other things they could have done with her, to give her more of a character. But th that's the thing that I find frustrating with a lot of Kingdom Hearts is that they insist that these different female characters are, are um important, but then they don't take the time to actually give them a get dang personality, like. Namine, Kairi, Shion, they all have pretty close personalities. Aqua, Aqua has more of a personality than those other three do, and she's still bland as friggin' dry toast. I feel like most of them, although to be honest, in Kingdom Hearts a lot of times, uh, they let their visual design take a lot of the brunt of giving them a personality. And that's why a lot of Organization 13 is considered so boring, because they all just have the same outfit. And so it just comes down to their hair and stuff. Hell, Larkseine! She's kind of a, a prick. But she's like, she is the most interesting female character in the franchise who isn't from like a Disney movie. Because, like, they bothered to give her a personality. She's just a fucking bitch, and I love her. Uh, any other? No, she's she and Shion are the only, like, female members of Organization 13. Which is pretty bullshit. But, you know, that's, that's how things are. I guess the implication is that I don't know. It it it's it's nonsense because like the idea is like the 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 nobodies who become organization thirteen are the ones whose heart was strong enough to keep them alive. Yeah, roast them, anime kids. They they don't. They don't <laughs> Let's break it down one at a time here. Organization thirteen. We got Axel. He's fun. We got. Larkseen, she's a bitch. I love her. We got Marluxia. He's pretty neat. He's just kind of, kind of pink is his deal. Uh, we got, uh, 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 shit, it's been a while. Uh, we got Z Zaldin. Zaldin's pretty, pretty cool. He's very angry. Um, we, uh, got the one with the big axe. I don't remember his name. Z Z Zigbar, is that him? Shit. We got Card Boy with the with the twin guns. He's pretty cool. He he's like a snarky bitch. Uh, God, is this underwater maze? I don't know. Oh, oh don't want to get the last one. Ah, damn it! Didn't fall through. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Uh. 
Yeah, I know. It's like Kingdom Hearts. I recognize that there's a lot of themes of this and that in there, but overall, a lot of the characters aren't very interesting. Sora is at least vaguely interesting because he has some enthusiasm for what he does, and he's a he's a friggin' idiot, which is fun. I I need more like uh, anime heroes who are like who are supposed to be stupid, because too many of them it's like they pretend like they aren't dumb, and they're just like oh they they they're so cool, and it's like in reality they're they are a friggin' idiot. But with Sora, they're just like, nah, Sora's just stupid. It's like, hell yeah. Hell yeah, Sora's stupid. Whoops. Uh, whoa. A gray piece switch? What is this about? Just take that with me. I don't, I don't know what's up with that. Oh, must not have been important. Or was, and I fucked that up. You guys let me know. Sincerely, like... I would honestly really love pure criticism over the silence that I get. I get, like, two people in my chat most times. And I know those people. I know them on a personal level. On a spiritual level? Eh, yeah, maybe. Do we really know anybody on a spiritual level? What even is a spiritual level? What What is the difference between a spirit and a soul? Can anybody answer me that one? I understand what a soul is supposed to be. It's like, it's, 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 it's the juice in your human vessel that makes you it, uh, alive, basically. But, I mean, what, what the hell's a spirit? What What is that? Is that also a soul? Are they synonymous? Is there like some subtle difference? And I don't get the nuance of it? I don't fucking know. It's very confusing. Oh, you know. That business. Metaphysics. Religion. Wormholes. Oh, you know what? Um, okay. Oh, shit. Uh, I just... Sorry, I was just, like, hit with, like, a memory. Um, so I want to do... I, I want to do a couple videos on specifically reality shows that I feel like deserve a little more... Uh, not necessarily respect, but, like... Not even necessarily discussion. I just want to talk about them, okay? One of them being uh, PlayStation's The Tester. All three seasons of that, which I've watched all of. I watched them all on my PSP. Which, oh boy, that's the best way to do that. <laughs> um, uh, a Solitary, which was a, a, a really good uh, Fox reality show. Um, just because it was really creative. Uh, honestly, I kind of want to go over the Total Drama Island series, because I feel like it doesn't get a fair shake. But I just remembered, there was a show on Discovery Kids when I was in, like, early high school called Strange Times at Blake Holsey High. And it was like... How do I put it? It was like Monster of the Week kind of stuff, like you'd get out of, like, Supernatural or X-Files, right? But it would always be, like, some science shit. And not like, like, kind of science fiction-y. Like, there was an episode where there was, like, this trend of, like, these diet bars that were going around and everybody was eating them instead of food. And they, like, tested them and were like, dude, these have literally zero calories. Everybody should be fucking starved to death. They should all be dead right now. What's going on? And they're like, oh, it's got, like, all this addictive quality to it that, like, tricks your brain into thinking it's still, like, able to survive. And it's like, what the fuck? There was like another one where the, oh my god, what was it? It was the, it was, uh, the school was, fuck, what was it? It was like the school they found out was like a tesseract in the fourth dimension. So that, and the tesseract was folding in on itself. So the, the school kept like shifting around 
and like the geography kept being weird and not making sense. And they found out it was because something was causing it to like fold in on itself in the fourth dimension, but they could only perceive the third dimension of it. It, it was so fuck. There was another episode where they were like trying to break into like the facility under the school that where they were doing the tests that were causing all this. Cause th the plot was that it was like a, a school of like gifted kids in science. And it was like a boarding school, but like there was like, there was some spooky shit going on and the faculty was like running tests underneath the school that was causing all this weird stuff. Um, and like the janitor was like all like spooky and mysterious and like was in on it somehow. And he'd always say this cryptic stuff, but like they were trying to break into that facility and like the main girl, her like hearing had been like boosted to a thousand percent so everything was way too loud, but she was able to hear the specific like tones that the keypad they needed to get in were. So they were able to like break in because of that? Oh, God, just like the more I think about it, I didn't see the whole show, but like that show was awesome and I'd really love to like track it down and like just get, put a spotlight on it. It was so weird. Mm. Uh, oh, what? Oh, going through the tree. Hmm. Oh, wait, I still got to the ghost house, so that was just a shortcut? Or is this a different part of the ghost house? No, no, it's the same same thing I was in before. Ugh. Getting a little close for comfort. I like that the big ones, um, like, take a minute to stop. There's, like, they have, like, inertia. Hmm. Okay, so I gotta get into the negative space. How do I do that? Uh, 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 uh. What was it? Uh, I feel like there's a P-switch somewhere. Some. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh, that's spooky. All of the power-ups in these levels are, like... They're, like, low opacity. It's weird. <laughs> They're getting close. Stop it. Stop that. Ah, yes. Let me, let me save this for later. Mm -hmm, let me save it for right here. Aha! There we go. Whoops. Nope, nope, nope. Gotta run back. Because there's that door over here. Yep. And there it is. Boom! Yeah, I've done a puzzle or two. I've done a puzzle or two in my day. You don't get to my age without uh, learning a thing or two about puzzles. Nice. Okay. Man, it's asking... Or, I guess it was a ghost house. Scoot, 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 scoot. Whoa. Watch out. Lock it too. Ah, shit! I hit run instead of jump. That one was my bad. That was definitely my bad. Yoink! Okay, so this is... Whoa! <laughs> oh, <laughs> bouncing all over the place. Whoa! <laughs> and there's this lack of two creeping. Oh! Stop that! You little creep. Ah, no. Let me up. Whoa. Okay, okay. No. No, I want up there. Damn. So rude, dude. What? Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Damn. Ah. <sighs> oh, 
Whoa. Whoa. Oh, shit. Whoa. I think they expect you to get onto Lakitu. Which is achievable. Whoa. Oh, shit. Let's go. Let's go. Starman. There's a star man waiting in the sky. He'd like to come and meet us, but he thinks he'd blow our minds. Tell me, let the children use it. Let all the children boogie down. Ah, there's, I believe, a date. Shit! It's okay, the checkpoint was right there. Um, I think that's a David Bowie song that they covered for, uh, 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 not Dickie Roberts. Dickie Roberts was the David Spade movie. Uh, Dewey Cox. The Dewey Cox movie. There are, there are quite a, whoa! Mmm. That whole soundtrack is fucking solid. I'd recommend watching the movie first and foremost because it's it's hilarious. But then like, definitely just like listen to the soundtrack, man. It's so good. It's just like all sorts of like different genres. It's it's got some rock. It's kind of mostly like Johnny Cash sort of sort of uh, rockabilly kind of country stuff. But it's it's good and it's really funny well the, the 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 soundtrack specifically is super funny like it's it's the lyrics are hilarious hmm <sighs> gotta watch that sometime oh bonus game oh damn it well the stars are okay if I line up enough of them Nice. Nice. I'm actually gonna write down, before I forget, I'm gonna write down those video ideas. Hmm. Goes across. Pretty sure if I go down, that gets me out of here? So yeah, I'm gonna write down. That. And I'm gonna write down Blake Holsey. Uh, retrospective? Yes, retrospective. Hell yeah, I'm, ex I'm excited. I don't know where I'm gonna find it. It's uh, Discovery Kids, I don't know where that stream's at. Hulu, I think? I'll track it down, I'll track it down. I see. I don't know how long that series went, and I'm actually, before I even go into a level, I'm just gonna look this up because I know it's gonna. Th this is always where I get trouble. I get stuck in this loop, and I don't know where to get out. Revision requested. Well, that's gonna have to wait. <coughs> Um, okay, I gotta look up Super Mario World walkthrough. StrategyWiki.com Shout out StrategyWiki Forest of Illusion That's not... Okay, there we go. Fuck's sake, it just took me to a header and I was just like, the Forced Illusion is real tricky. It's like, okay, but how do I do it? Okay, exit to Forced Illusion 2. Uh, what, what? Forest Evolution 2. 
That's Blue Switch Palace. Forest of Illusion 3. There we go, the secret exit in Forest of Illusion 3. Okay, so I just gotta go through the last green pipe in the third. In the third level of this world. So, okay, that's that's totally reasonable. No. No, give me Yashi. No, don't hurt my boy. Do not explode my boy. No, come back. No, come back. Whoop. Ah, a mushroom. Uh, no, Yoshi, eat the... Ah, eat the pink one! No! My hubris. My hubris. Shit, 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 shit. Get, get out of here. Oh god, I'm just in survival mode now. I just gotta get there. Okay. Whoa. Anything? No. Wow. Oh, I think it's this pipe. Takes me to the uh, bonus area. Yes. Yes, there we go. Bam, here we go. And that takes me down to Roy's castle. Not Roy. Except it is Roy in that dang castle. Hmm? Oh, oh, sneak block. Classic. <laughs> See, this is something they put in Battletoads, but it went so much faster. You had like no time to react. So you basically just had to trial and error that shit, or already know it. Like, I feel like a lot of people who got into speedrunning probably played a lot of Battletoads. Uh, they, you'd like to think Sonic, because that was like the whole, I, like the whole idea was speedrunning. Like the, the, the guy who came up with Sonic, he loved speedrunning like Mario Brothers, and he was like, let me base a game just around being fast. It's like, oh cool. Uh. Too bad, too bad there's like slow plotting puzzle stuff in there. But yeah, the 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 fast um, Battletoads is like a game where you do have to be incredibly fast. Shit. Fuck. It's okay, it's okay. This is, that's my first loss on that one. And I still got four more lives. I will probably, after I get past the snake bit this this next time, I will uh, put a suspend point so we don't have to go through it again. Because it's not particularly hard. It's fun enough. I like it because it's like an auto-scroller, but it like, it keeps you contained. Contained to a specific area. Mm. Okay, so that intentionally gets trapped there. I guess you don't jump ahead? Which is actually pretty smart. There are probably a bunch of people who tried jumping off there in playtesting and stuff. Mmm, clever, clever. That's something I love about Nintendo, dude. They have those little clever bits. Just simple things that you would never think about, but when you like focus on it, you're like, oh yeah, that makes total sense. Just create that suspend point. And let's hang on to this. Whoa! Shit! Now let's load that back up. And, whoa! 
Oh, that doesn't even, like, get me anything. Why'd I do that? Ah, shit. It swooshed me forward real hard. I guess there's a mushroom, but it's gone by the time I get over there. Whoop. Whoop. Yes, one up. Whoop. Uh -huh. All right, and we're going to create another suspend point for the boss. Whoops. God damn it, I'm still thinking in Mario 3. You could jump a little further in that. That's one thing, um, one thing I appreciate about Mega Man X, which Aaron Hansen goes about in his sequelitis, so I'm not going to pretend like I noticed this on my own, but uh, the jump jump arcs and the run speed are like one to one the same as they were in the original Mega Man which is great but Mario Mario always kind of changes it up a little bit and I can kind of throw you off going game to game like I am in this marathon nice 37 minutes that's a pretty good pace I'm hoping to finish this tonight and then do all the Star Road stuff tomorrow night finish it up or hmm, maybe play Yoshi Island the thing is, if I start Yoshi's Island, I'm not going to finish it. And it's not so much a Mario game, it's a Yoshi game. Ah, whatever. Mario found his way through the Forest of Illusion, and has put an end to Roy Koopa of Castle Number 5. Onward to the dangerous, but tasty, Chocolate Island. You look a little toasty there, Mario. Hmm. Continue... Here we go. Let's see. Oh, dinosaur. Oh, small one. Small boy. Watch out. Watch out. No, no, no. Feels super healthy today. I had a big old salad for dinner. Did lunch, lunch, dinner. I don't know, man. I've been getting up at like 11 noon, so. My my sense of time is nothing. Felt felt real good though. Granted, it was a chef salad, so it had a lot of of meats and cheeses on it. So maybe not the healthiest, especially with ranch dressing. But fuck it, it was a bunch of like leafy greens. That's pretty healthy. That's that's pretty dang healthy. Don't, don't get on my case for liking cheese. And some boiled eggs, that's healthy protein. Some lean, lean deli turkey. Something, I don't know. As I've said before, I don't focus on eating crazy healthy because I just, I'd rather have food that I like the taste of than more than anything. Oh jeez, oh god, dolphins. Dolphins with goggles. Oh jeez, oh jeez. No, spiky boys. Ah, ah, spiky. No. That was, that was pretty harrowing. Whoa, okay, glad that worked out. <laughs> Shit, I wasn't paying attention at all. Damn it, I keep forgetting I shouldn't sing because my, my monitor audio is going to be off sync from the stream audio. Apologies, apologies. I know it probably messes with your head to hear it like a half second later or a half second earlier. However, it lines up, you know. I haven't I haven't figured out exactly how it does it. And it, Oh, damn it. I thought that was going to stick with them. Um, and it doesn't stay super consistent, so it's it's hard to say. Come on, Yashi. Mm, right, Yashi does not stay with me. Woo! Whoa. Whoa ho ho! Watch out. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's got fire. No. 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 Ah! Ah, damn it. I'm making pretty good pace. You know, I'm already more than halfway through on my second session here. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm doing, doing pretty good. 
My my roommate yesterday explained to me exactly what I'd have to do to 100% this, and it's like... You have to hit the gold tape on every single level. You have to go through all of the alternates. You have to get like 100 coins on each level, I think, or something. And you want to do Star Road after you've beaten Bowser because uh, if you beat Bowser after Star Road, then uh, your save file is deleted. Although I don't know if they did that for shit uh, for this port. But I appreciate the heads up. Um, yeah, I don't know. What am I doing? What am I doing? Go in the go in the house. The house of the ghost. Watch out. Watch out. Shit. Uh my timing was off. Hmm. Whoop! Uh, ha ha! I have to get up pretty early in the morning to get me with that. Whoa! Whoa! Mushroom? Yes! Perfect. I do like this mushroom. What? Alright! It like moved right under me. Hmm! Um, yeah, I want to get some mushrooms, because there was a, I think I've mentioned this specific video on the stream before, but there was this video from Sorted Food on how to make, how to make pancakes without, like, having to have a specific recipe. And it's pretty good. You do need a scale, but it's basically, you like, uh, you weigh out the, you weigh out the eggs, and then separate the yolks and the whites. Then, you uh, mix the yolks and the milk, and it should be the same weight of milk that the whole eggs were. Shit. And then you mix uh, the same weight of flour into that. Meanwhile, the whites you whip up until they're like really good and like fluffy. Which, it, it takes a bit, but if you, you hit it with a whisk for a while, it'll happen. Like, they, they make some good bubbles. Um, and then you gently fold those fluffy bits into the, uh, into the bit with the, uh, the, the flour egg milk. So that you try not to break up the bubbles too much. Hit it with a little bit of salt. And if you want to do it savory, hit it with a little bit of pepper. And then the uh, the recipe they showed, they were like, okay, if you do it savory, and you put some bacon bits, or like bacon bits if you don't like to do meat, um, uh, you do uh, ba ba ba, what do you call them? Uh, you do. A bit of nice crumbly cheese. You do some sautéed mushrooms. Um, and you do uh, a poached egg on top. You can have a, a lovely sort of savory brunch pancake. And that's, that's really good. And the thing is, you do one egg per person that you're cooking for. And it makes exactly two pancakes for each person. It's super good. Shit, shit. Oh, God. Oh, so you have to go through the pipe. I just lucked out the first time. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can deal with that. And then, if you want to make crepes, uh, you do you do the same thing. Oh, I forgot to mention. With the pancakes, just like a pinch of baking soda per person as well. Gets you a... Uh, do a nice fluffy cake. Although the eggs are doing most of the work of making the fluff. But then if you want to do crepes, just do uh, half as much flour by weight. And then it'll be like kind of runny. And then you just gotta... You gotta go... Uh, do it real thin in your pan. Just pour a little out. And make sure it covers the bottom of the pan. If it's... If it is, uh, 
Not enough, put a little more in. If it's too much, don't put as much in. Just go until the, the, the edges are getting a little crispy and lifting away. Uh, flip it, do another minute or so. It's delicious. Delicious crepe. I've been doing a lot of those. Filling with some avocado egg. Wonderful. I love to cook, but I, I really want to do that like brunch pancake business. It sounds really tasty. I like mushrooms a lot. Most of the people I live with aren't as big on mushrooms. You know, Coco doesn't like them. Uh, my roommate doesn't... They can't do them for digestive reasons. He just can't digest them properly. So, that's unfortunate. But, you know, that's health, baby. The human body is a nightmare. And it does all sorts of weird shit and makes itself difficult. Okay, okay. Uh, no! Yoshi! Yoshi, no! No! Let me out. Let me out. Foomp. Ah, shit. That's fine. That's fine. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it in the bag. Whoops. Do not clap. Do not clap on me. I would not appreciate this. Oh, oh, oh. They look even more dinosaur than Yashi. And yet... And yet... They are more dragon? I do not understand. I do not... Do not comprehend how these how these work evolutionarily. Oh god. Oh god. Ah 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 I don't like it. Ah These dolphins are so unpredictable. Ah! Yes! Yashi! What the fuck? The first time I did this, I just fucking naturally bopped off of the fucking turtle. But both times now, I fucking like missed it entirely. What the fuck's going on? Angry. Angry upset. Do not like that. I'm not a fan of when a game makes me look like a fool in front of my adoring audience. Well, my audience. Well, people watching. Audience seems even too fancy of a word for for the relationship here. Y'all don't know me. Or, you only know me. Just friends and family. Hey, I appreciate the support, but, uh, you gotta, you gotta track down some other folks here. Oh, dang, can I just ride it out on Yashi? Yeah, looks like I can. Woo! First time it didn't do any of that shit. It just fucking worked. What is this hellscape I've gotten myself into? Ah! I just got lucky the first time, I guess? Do I need to time it out in some weird way? What's up? I don't know why I hung onto the spring. Do I need to jump off Yoshi? Is that a necessity this time? Okay, we gotta, as far as I can tell, you gotta kill Yoshi on this one. I'm not happy about it, but I'll do it. Whoop! As long as Yoshi's feet are the only thing to touch, it's okay.
Bam. There we go. All right. Ah, uh, uh, shit! Oh, god damn it! Even killing Yoshi didn't work. What's up? Am I doing some? Th I didn't have this problem the first time. It just worked. What's going? What am I doing different? I have no idea. Do I gotta like do something special? Shit. That one was my bad. I messed up there. Fuck off. I didn't mean to grab that. I meant to jump before. God. This is this is where things get tricky, dude. Wasn't having too much trouble with the first four worlds or so. For some reason. For some reason, world five. It's especially hard for me. Why? Why must I have such troubles? No! Yoshi! Let's let's see what happens. I wanna get that one up so that I don't like I I can continue this technically indefinitely. Whoop. What? Ah, ah, ah. Let me out of here. Fuck! Ah, oh, oh damn. Hop. Scoop. Scooby doo. Scooby dooby doo. Where are you? I don't do a great Scooby Doo. I do enough that people can tell I'm trying to do a Scooby Doo. That's about it. I don't, character impressions don't necessarily get you like roles or anything, so I don't focus that much on them. But they can be fun. I do an okay George Takei. That's about it. I do an all right pat buttram. But that's about that's about all I got. Or wait, uh yeah, that's an alright pat buttram. I do an all right Walter Bannon. That's that's about it. What what the fuck? What am I supposed to do there? Seriously! I did. It just worked out the first time. Am I supposed to like hold the run? Does that make me go farther? What the fuck is going on? I don't. I don't know what I was doing different the first time that it just worked out. Hold on, I'm gonna get to the end there and lay down a suspend point, because I seriously can't just keep going through this part over and over again. I have to figure out what it's expecting of me. Something, like, it expects you to do something funky. Do you have to do it on the, on the dolphins? Will it not let me do this? Like, will it time it out weird if I don't do the dolphins? Okay, creating a suspend point here, and we're gonna figure this out. So here it is, not touching anything. Don't hit it, okay. Here it is, holding down the run button. Okay, nothing. Here it is, it hitting, holding jump? Nope, that's not it either. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Run and jump. Ah, okay, you have to hold run and jump at the same time. 
Okay. What the fuck? I didn't, I didn't do any of that before. I don't know what's up. Alright. Choco Ghost House. I'm gonna create a suspend point in case I get a game over again. And uh, I'm actually gonna take a quick break while we're at it. This seems like a good spot to s pause. So, I'll be RB. Do not touch that internet dial. Hey, everybody! Ah, alright. Time for more... Uh, Super Mario World. Uh, well, yeah, one thing I'd say. If you have a Nintendo Switch, um, it's already gonna be in your news app, but you should check out Jump Rope Challenge. It's a free... free game. And the idea is that you just, uh... It's just a little rabbit on screen, and you just jump rope along with him by, like, swinging the... swinging the Joy-Cons like they're jump rope handles. And, uh, yeah, helps you get in shape, looks super cute, and it's free. The developers, uh, some Nintendo developers that were just stuck inside during quarantine and stuff are just like, uh, oh, it's good to stay in shape, good to stay active. So I'll certainly include that in my repertoire. Now, I need, I need some kind of cardio. I know cardio doesn't necessarily burn, burn fat or whatever nonsense they've been saying do you guys get that ad there's like an ad and it's like this super buff fucking dude and he's just like doing basically it's the whole ad is basically like a fitness vlog and he's just like uh cardio burns fat no uh cardio burns carbs in your blood and it gets immediately replaced by your next meal uh if you want to burn fat 
You need to use this secret technique that is actually an ancient thing, and Hugh Jackman did it, and Christian Bale did it. And it's like, the reason, first off, the reason those guys are jacked is because they, is because they have, the, like, world-class personal trainers who are helping them. Like, it, it, when you are rich, you just have access to more, more, like, resources that can help you get jacked. So, yeah, if your entire focus is on becoming jacked for a role, and you can afford it, like, obviously... It's not that friggin' hard. But, oh! But, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I'll, I'm just gonna, I'm going to eat vegetables because they are, are, are good for you, even if they don't help you lose weight. And I will do cardio on top of my weight training to, to I don't know, keep my heart healthy. It's called cardio for a reason. Because your car... Diovascular system. Is there some some up here? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh jeez. Oh, it's getting tight. Oh, they like spawn and despawn and respawn in weird ways. It's throwing me off. Well, how do I get out? Is it like a hidden block? Oh no. Do I have to like? Ah oh, shit. Do I have to like convince these boos to follow me? So that they can make a platform? Fuck. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Well, that's cute. But also, oof, this is... This ain't gonna be easy. <laughs> no, don't move. Don't move, friends. Shit, shit. Yes! Okay. Whew. Oh, that was tricky. Oh, and I was running low on time. I did it. I did it. I do like the ghost houses, houses because there's like at least one in each world and they're just a puzzle. And like the puzzle isn't always too hard, but it is like, it, ma it, it makes you rack your brain. Whoa, what? Oh, that's cool. You can pause and look around. Oh, I know what goes there. Although, I, I don't know if I'm going to unlock that, necessarily. Look at this. We've already gone around. Up and around here. Four. We went through there. We're in five. There's there's level six. Hmm. I don't know where that is. Uh, is that secret? All right. Chocolate Island. Two. Two. Made me think of Chaco Mountain from uh, Mario Kart 64. Whoa. Okay. Careful now. Don't want to fall off the edge. Do, 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 do. No, Yoshi! Uh, every damn time. Oh, shit! Alright, well I know Yoshi is up here, so I'm gonna, gonna grab my damn Yoshi. At least he loves me. In this shad, shad world of Oz. Oh hey, and I got one up. Uh, nice. Now let's try this again. Be a little more careful this time, because it doesn't it's not the hardest platforming it doesn't look like. Whoa! It's just everything's tilted, so you kinda have to keep moving. Before you start sliding. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh boy. Whoa. I, no! Damn baseball man. Alright, alright, that's that's fine. That's okay. It's alright, it's okay, it's a space jam. Alright. Okay. 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 Sorry. I kind of got caught in that for a moment. I, I, um, 
when when your voice it makes that creaking sound that's um that's basically the sound your vocal cords vibrating slowly enough that you can hear the individual flaps and it's it's called vocal fry i don't i i can't remember if i said that first but uh it's considered pretty pretty uh unattractive in voiceover um so because it, it gives you that creakiness and i don't get it too bad most times but you can hear it there sometimes when my voice is a little too relaxed but if you have a strong column of air behind your voice it almost never happens that's the thing is like it's usually when you're running out of air that ugh, it starts happening and a lot of people get it at the end of their words or the end of their like sentences damn game over that's all right it'll take me back to right after the ghost house anyways but uh Yeah, I get it the worst when I speak deeply, Lee, because I forget to put enough air back there. And to be clear, I I I I try and drop the the volume a bit because that gives it a bit more depth, which I already don't have a very deep range. Um and then uh Uh, da, 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 da. And then, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's difficult because it's already the, the, the pitch means that I am speaking technically slower because uh, lower pitch is just, uh, slower vibrations or at least less frequent vibrations. Technically it's, the uh, sound is measured in hertz, and hertz is how many times you vib you vibrate or revolve or rotate within a second. It's basically, hertz is a measurement of how many times something happens in a second. Whoa, whoa, there's so many mushrooms. What the hell? Why is there so many mushrooms? What's going on? That's weird. What the f- That feels like a Mario Maker level. Right? Like, that doesn't feel like something they would put in an official game, but that's... it just was. Ah! Ah! Dragons! No, Yoshi! Yoshi, no! Yeah, <laughs> I'm hand itches. Was that a bug bite? No, I think... Oh, that's right, I got scratched by one of our cats earlier. Blech. So it's a bit itchy. Gah. Cats. They scratch. They got little they got little claws. It's not that big a deal. It sucks when it happens, but like I love cats so much, uh, regardless. They are just tiny babies. No! Ah, damn it. They're tiny baby children, and I I love them. They are so mean to me sometimes. We got a, a very rambunctious little cat named Leopard. He scratches a lot. Um, and then we got a very, very old cat named Dakota. She's like 18, 19, maybe even like 20 at this point. Like, that's, that's very old for a cat. But she's still in pretty good shape. Like, she can like run around and stuff. She kind of hobbles. I think I think her spine's a little funky. But like she's 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 doing pretty good. Just keep her keep her pretty pretty coddled and comfortable. Um and then we have one very nervous dog named Loki. And she she well She's nervous. She doesn't like many things. Woo -hoo. Oh, well, that's helpful. Ooh, I love it when you get the uh, the cape because it makes you feel so much more precise. 
Makes you feel like a platforming surgeon, you know? Makes you feel like you can hit hit some things that you couldn't normally hit. What? Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh. That's all right. I'll get to the... the... No. No, the keep feather. Ah. Dip damned rue. That's quite all right. Oh, yeah. I got the... the bit there. Now I gotta do this bit without the cape. Ah, oh, look at my hubris. Screwing me once again. Oh, you know what's something I'd love to find? I don't know. I do technically have a PSP emulator, so I think I'll be able to get it on that. But, uh, the... The, uh... Harvey Birdman Attorney at Law... Um... PSP game... And it's, to be clear, it's, it's, it's Ace Attorney. It's 100% just the exact same everything. Like, it literally, like, they designed the, it's basically just Ace Attorney with, without a touch screen, with Harvey Birdman characters instead. Like, even the interrogation room that you go to to talk to your clients and stuff if they're in custody looks exactly the same. Um, but it's funny... It's funny writing. It's the same Ace Attorney gameplay, so it's fun to play. And yeah, I, I don't know. I love I love Harvey Birdman Attorney at Law. I, I thought it was a really funny show. It uh, as Maurice Lamarche, who played a few characters on there, put it. Uh, it took everything about Hanna Barbera and turned it on its ear. Made everything everything little little unsettling. Um, like, uh, the episode with the Jetsons, they kind of, like, muse philosophic about, about climate change and stuff, which was pretty ahead of its time for what, when that show was on the air. Um, we weren't talking about that a ton. Like, I know Al Gore talked about it, and we kind of understood it was something of a problem, but... Ooh, boy, we really need to get on top of that shit. But, you know, I I won't be the first one to tell you that today, I'm sure. I, I can recognize that it's obnoxious to hear it over and over again, but, like, until it's fixed, it's kind of a big problem. It's kind of a big fucking issue that our planet is going to be uninhabitable if we don't do something about it, so, you know... Maybe we should get on top of it. And unfortunately, they act like it's going to be personal responsibility. You know, you and me, we can make a difference. And it's like, we can make something of a difference, but the vast majority of shit is being done by companies and corporations who are just making money off of it. So it's like, maybe maybe we should get, get on top of them so that they'll actually do something about it, because... Uh, we're not gonna be able to do much on a on our own. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Did it? Wow! Mmm, Mario. Come on now, there we go. Mario is here, he is Mario. Whoop, and we're gonna loop it down a little bit, get that mushroom. Ain't nothing I need up there. I do like this moment that it, it kind of forces you to jump even if you're not kind of comfortable with it. Like it just won't line up perfectly otherwise. 
All right. Now, because I had such trouble with it, I'm going to create a suspend point. So that I can have the cape and such from this point on. I knew I knew controversial. Oops. I knew I knew I used it immediately, but you don't have to worry about me. Um. Yeah, I was mentioning impressions earlier. I don't, as I said, I don't do a lot, but I do. I, I do a pretty decent George Lucas impression. He's a pre he's a pretty quiet guy, so he doesn't really talk too loud or anything. And uh, I do an all right David Lynch impression. He he talks in a very loud manner. He has a very Midwest accent, and he kind of he kind of talks like his character in uh, Twin Peaks. Who, who always had to have the hearing aid and didn't and didn't do a thing for him. He'd be like, I, 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 it's not that I don't like salad, but I, I that's this place only had salad. So if I were to do a scene with my impressions, it would probably be his rant about George Lucas acted out. I don't know I know they're not great impressions, but that's the thing is. In in voiceover, a uh, a as they say, a bad impression can become a good character. Like um, Hank Azaria has said, most of his Simpsons characters are bad, bad impressions. Like uh, Lou Lou the cop, he's like a, he's like a bad Stallone kind of. He's just like a kind of crappy Stallone, and uh, his his chief Wiggum, he's like a. Is uh, Lou Costello of Abbott and Costello? Stuff like that, you know. I don't know. I like, I like cartoons. I, I want to, I want to do some voices of those cartoons. Hey, if you make cartoons, can you tell me if you need a voice? Cause I'll do your voice in your cartoon. There we go. Woo. Ah. Okay. Ah, screw it. I don't need the one up that bad. And then this. Yes. Ah, there we go. <sighs> Be it. I what? Uh oh oh okay. But I I gotta do it again. What the hell? So is it gonna be like different this time or? Ah, uh, you know what? There was the arrows pointing. Was I supposed to go? the way the arrows were pointing. Oh, damn it. I didn't want to do this again. Or wait, should I go in the pipes? Because I don't know what else the pipes would be there for. Now let's get some free points. Oh yeah, and a backup. Keep, I guess. Can I can I go through these pipes at all? Hmm. Weird. I guess. Oh, it's only if you have a cape, then. <sighs> shit! Shit! Ah, fuck! Ah, 
God, that fucking sucks. Wait, why'd I do that? I could have just grabbed it from the block here. Eh, whatever. So, okay, you gotta get through the level with the cape, basically. Okay, that's not too hard. I can manage. Like, I was there. I just fucked it up. You screwed it up. Now we're stuck in the bank vault. With no way out. You screwed it up, Herman. You locked us in the bank vault. Who is that? Hold on, where have I heard that? Uh, oh yeah, that's Gram uh, Grandpa Munster. From fucking, uh, from the Munsters. The, uh, the, the classic television. He was the, uh, he was the, the Dracula of the group. Because they were each a different, it was like, Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, shit. Yeah, we're just gonna load back to here. It was Frankenstein. Was Herman. Uh. Bride of Frankenstein was the wife. Um. Frankenstein's monster for all you fucking douchebag intellectuals out there. Um. It's not, it's not like it fucking matters. That's the thing, is like, that's the, the quickest way to know someone if, if someone's just a fucking pedant. If they're just like, uh, it's actually, uh, the, uh, the, the, the dude is like, yeah, we know. We don't fucking care. It's faster to say Frankenstein than Frankenstein's monster. At least we're not saying a Dracula, like some people do. Fuck. Is there something out there? Nah, I don't know. Um, then the kids, the kids were a witch, I think, and a, a little werewolf boy. The werewolf boy. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. I wasn't there for that. I've never even watched a monster. Uh, which is actually true. Yeah, I've never seen an episode of the show. I recognize the theme song, because it's pretty killer and it was used in fucking oh what was that song i think it was a fallout boy song the she likes to dance like uma thurman can't get you out of my head do, 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 do. all right whoa shit i have not practiced the flying enough Fuck. I didn't fly. What the fuck? Shit. Get out of here. Get out of here, you little bastard. <sighs> okay, so I have to watch him. Well, shit. I can do it from up here. Come on, there's gotta be like a secret way out here. Yeah, there's the real exit. There we go. There we go. That gets me to the fortress. 
Okay. Hmm. It's wood. It's a bunch of giant toothpicks. Oh, what the fuck? Ah! That was like right in the middle, so uh, I didn't look like I could duck it. Or looked like I didn't need to duck it, rather. Alright, let's just... Let's just back that up. Backup leaf. Whoop, shit. Oh, good. Ah, fuck. Fuck! Ah, damn it, I timed it so wrong. Yeah. Hold on, I hear the fucking audio tripping. Ugh, gotta reset it. Uh, oh, yep, it's paused. There's the audio. Go on, then. Ah, it's a thwimp. It's a ruddy thwimp, in it. Woo! Grazed my toots. Grazed my little toesies. Didn't he? Whoa! Thwimps seem like they aren't that big of a a danger, but they can be just enough to get in your frickin' way. Pick, pick. Go, 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 go. Use the invisibility frames to your benefit. Oh, nice. Good thing I got the blue switch. Should've got the red switch. Fuck! Ha! <laughs> well, let's just load a suspend point then. Or, ah, shit, I shouldn't have. I had the checkpoint. Ah, eh, whatever. I'm making decent enough time. Damn it. Fuck! Are you fucking kidding me? No. That's the worst part. At the end of this, there isn't even going to be a fucking boss. Or rather, it's just not... I'm going to have to go through this, and I'm going to have to go through the actual castle.
Fuck. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, that's something. And these, these thwimps, they really st st get stuck in your damn craw. And we're going to create a suspend point because this whole thwomp region gives me guff. Yep, and then we're just gonna go right back, because fuck that. That was not my f fucking fault. Ah. There we go. The black door. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's these guys. Oh, yeah. This is this was weird. This is like the only time it happens in this game. That there's like a, a non coupling like boss. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Reznor. Reznor? Yeah. I don't know what the deal with that is. Oh? Whoa, I don't remember these. A little grass platform? What is this? to go there and get on that grass platform. Shit. Yeah, this is a weird level. Go on then, go on then. Oh hell. Well, it takes me to the same place, so it's not like it matters that much. Ah, ah, ah! Fuck! What? I, I don't like these, these grass platform business. It's really tricky. But not for like any good reason. It's just like really because it because you don't slide, it's effectively just like another oh, shit. It's just another platform. Right? But they're just thin because it's turned. If it was turned flat, it would visually look the same. But uh, it would be a lot less needlessly challenging. Yeah, I don't find that I don't find it particularly fun when uh, they just make an aesthetically unique platform for the sake of looks. It's like this is. This is still just a standard platforming section. Oh my god, what the fuck? How the hell am I gonna get down there? <sighs> uh, 
Oh, thank goodness. Ah. Oh. oh, sweet life. Thank goodness I got the ruddy blue switch. That seemed like the right palace to get to. What the fuck? Hey! You mole bitch. Think I think I enjoy this? Think this is how I like spending a Sunday evening? Nah. Not a fan. Whoa. Oh, there's the ending. That's it. That's, I just want to get through. I'm not interested in doing it well. I just want to get it done. Uh, all right. I'm going to take another quick break. So uh, I will be RB, folks. Don't touch the internet dial. Okay, 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 okay. Hello. I'm gonna finish this, this world. Hmm. Gee, I wonder if there's any reason I'd wanna use that P-switch. Currently? No, there is not. So, uh, I won't. Oh, I guess there's secrets. But uh, it looks like the levels can be a lot easier if I don't do that. No! Damn it. Ah, my Yashi. I guess that bit would have been easier. Yeah, whatever. Oh shit. Gotta watch out. Some of these pipes move. Can I hit him with the shell? Yes. The answer to that question was correct. The Chucks. Wow, that level was incredibly easy. I'm gonna guess that I had to do some weird shit. Or they just overthought it. Whoever made that one. Yeah, they just overthought it. That level was pretty dumb. Wendy's Castle! Oh, get yourself a Baconator and some Slave Tomatoes! Yeah, fun fact. Uh, Wendy's, when asked to join a Fair Trade Commission to make sure that there was no slave labor used in their, uh, in their vegetable picking, uh, they... they consciously and directly chose not to. They said, yes, we will still source our fruits and vegetables from places known to use slave labor. So, fuck Wendy's. What sucks about that is that they are uh, kind of the best as far as burger fast food goes. I mean, I guess there's like Carl's Jr. slash Hardee's stuff, but that shit's so expensive. For stuff in the price range of a Burger King McDonald's, that is good. It's like, yeah, Wendy's is the tastiest, but they also use slave labor, so that's not not okay. Oh, hey. Alan's playing Animal Crossing, eh? Without me? Ah, shit. Oh, Burger King. Burger King is pretty tasty. I'll be honest, I, I've, I've, Burger King has grown on me. I definitely like it a lot more than McDonald's. 
to to be perfectly honest, McDonald's just doesn't feel worth it. Like they're really expensive. Honestly, if you actually look at the prices, like they they charge a lot for what they sell and like the chicken stuff is okay. And sometimes I do crave the nuggets, I will admit. But like their burgers are fucking useless. Ah shit. Like it's just a, a puck of dried beef. It's just, it's just so like is it's just like the worst burger you could possibly make. It's dry. It's super thin. There's not a lot of flavor to it. Like the fact that it's a burger where most of the flavor tastes like most of the burger tastes like bun and toppings, which granted is kind of intentional. I remember someone saying it's like their burgers aren't supposed to taste like burgers. They're supposed to taste like McDonald's. And that means a lot of toppings that are full of highly addictive sugar, which makes sense. And just other stuff that uh, other burger places wouldn't do because they're interested in making a, a, a burger. They're not interested in making something that's necessarily recognizable. I would say, if I'm going to a burger place, I want a fucking burger that tastes like burger. <laughs> not whatever nonsense. Although, what I miss being here in the southeast now, uh, I'm from the northwest, and what I miss is a goddamn Jack in the Box burger. Holy shit. Like, the, the, or like their breakfast menu, which they served 24 7. What the fuck? How? How the fuck am I supposed to get through that? Already just looking at it, that was fucking absurd. What the fuck am I supposed to do? It, it's going just way too goddamn fast. Is there like a P switch or something that slows it down? Yeah, here. Nobody asked for you. Nobody asked for your input on their comment card. We're very clear about these things, my friend. Shit, shit, shit. Woo! Just go, go, whoo! Okay. Um, I would say the Jack in the Box taco as well, but you can get pretty much the Jack in the Box taco from Burger King now. <sighs> okay. Okay, there was enough of a gap. I will concede there was enough of a gap. Hold on, I'm going to create a suspend point because I'm down to my last life. And I don't want to have to go through all the beginning of this world again. Ooh, big. Fuck, fuck, stop, stop! Okay, then. Duly noted. That is death. All right, go, go, go. Ah, shit. Nice, nice. That just worked out. Okay, and now we're gonna create a suspend point right here. Oh, does she do the do the same thing as? Yeah, that's a lemmy. That's a lemmy situation. Our little feets. That's cute. Ah, hold on. I'm gonna get her the first time here. Oops. Went down too fast. 
to... Come on, come on. Ah, damn it. Three. Wow, she was on the left side every time. It doesn't help having decoys if you just do the same thing, you dummy. You friggin' dunce. Stupid. All right. There we go. Five down. Uh, two to go. Three to go. Two or three. Which is, I don't know. Wendy O. Cooper in castle number six has sung her last song. Mario must meet the challenge that is now before him. There is a sunken ship that appears to be a gateway to the valley of Bowser. Let's do it, babies. Da ding Sunken ghost ship. Oh, spooky. Oh, whoa! Well, that's fine. I'll get the... I'll just get the lives back, since it just, it just saved. Continue, go to the sunken ship. It's cool, uh, the implication from what I've heard is that this is one of the airships from Mario 3, and it, it feels like it, so. I in fact, I think somebody actually broke down and like figured out which airship it would be, which is uh, a little much, but you know what, if that's, that's what you like to do. Good on you. I hope you had fun. Oh shit! Oh shit! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jesus! Jesus! Haha! Ha ha! Oh god, oh this sucks! Oh jeez, oh jeez. Hold on, hold on. Alright, we gotta float in. We'll all float in, okay. We'll all float in, alright, already. We'll all float in. And don't you worry, we'll all float in. I'll float in. Aw, oh, damn. Wow, I fall faster than the, uh, Koopas. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, God. Oh, God. Fuck, did I get a checkpoint in there? No, damn it. <sighs> damn, that sucks. That's quite all right, I suppose. Let's go back in. Try it once more. Whoops, shit. Yeah, that's exactly where I lost the mushroom the first time. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ah boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ah boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh. It's all right, boy. Oh, I've got it in the bag. Don't ask me which bag, though. I don't rightly remember. I've got a good few of them. Alright. And just drop. I don't remember the other ones. That was a long time ago, you see. Kill Bond win this one. James Bond? Yeah. Shit! I 
I should have jumped. I should have jumped over. But I forgot to. Hey, so I I got a mushroom. The mushroom honestly is like the worst power up in this. Because most of the time being small it if you're not small, then you should probably have like an extra ability. Woof. So like Yeah, in this in this instant it's like if I couldn't like swing around or do a fire flower, it's like I'd much rather be like small through this, so I'm a smaller target. Whoops. Well, just go through, I guess. <laughs> Scooby doo dee doo doo. Ah, shit, I missed it. Well, let's go to the side here. Uh, shit. Well, nothing here. Hold on, the audio went out. Let me reset that real quick. Still nothing? Okay. Let me get in here then. It's not... Okay, it was because I had it paused. That's fine, I guess. Oh, whoa. One of the question mark orbs from the last game? <laughs> oh, so yeah, it is one of the airships. Bizarre. Oh. Shit, wait a minute. Oh, six. Huh. Right. Shit, yeah, I can finish this pretty soon. Awesome. So, yeah, let me just do uh, the last world here. I might, uh, I'll probably take a break in a minute, but let me get this first world, first world done first. All right, get out of here, you friggin' goon. Oh man, you know what I'm feeling? Some dang chicken strips. Oh, we just got some. We, we uh, did the, uh, what was it, Walmart pickup? Uh, yesterday? Walmart? Yeah, something like that. Um... But they, they do it for free, I guess. So we we did that so that we could do the contactless business. Although they still ask you to roll down your window to confirm stuff. But they're wearing masks, so I guess it's not the worst. Um, but yeah, that's just been an alright way to... Three up? Hell yeah. So that's been an alright way to handle it. And we got some chicken strips. We also got some frozen taquitos, which I I love those. It's delicious, delicious. God, you know what I'm really craving? And this is gonna be very specific, and the likelihood that any of you have been to this specific restaurant and eaten this is so low, but 
I am craving some rose drumettes from uh, the teapot in uh, Seattle. Those of you who don't know, which is probably everybody, uh, there's this vegetarian restaurant in Seattle called the Teapot. It's Chinese food. It's really good. Um, but they have this specific, specific appetizer called Rose Drumettes. And they're basically like little, little fried chicken. Like they're little fried like chicken drumsticks. But they're vegetarian. They got like a little skin on them and everything. And they have a... Sh Played myself. They have a bone made out of sugar cane. So it's a sweet little like bone in the middle. God damn it. And it's oh, they're just they're delicious. They just taste like actual chicken. They're so juicy. Kind of sweet. I, I love them. Uh, yeah, I haven't had them in for Ever. I haven't gone to Teapot. I mean, even before I moved away from Seattle, it had been a long time. But, God, I, oh, just a dish of those would be amazing right now. I'm just kind of hungry. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some kind of a snack after this. Ah. <sighs> Whoop. There we go. Hey -o. It is time for 26 points for me. We are here in the valley of Bowser. And this game Wow. Ran right into him. This game feels pretty short. Honestly, like the level... Oh, god damn it, one of the fucking bats hit me. Like... Uh, the levels are certainly longer than the other games. But like... Didn't take too long. Only about... Only about five-ish hours, four, four some. It's pretty good. Whoa. Watch out now. Nakey. Nakey Koopa. I think I may need your assistance, screened Koopa. Frick. Jesus. These bats are like impressively, like, dangerous. I didn't expect them to be as much of a danger as they are. Ah, oh, damn it. That's just if you have a Yashi. Whoa, shit. Oh, this is fucking scary. Oh, my God. Oh, I almost fucked up there. Jeez, oh, just... Okay. I did fucked up there. But that's okay. Uh, oh, well. Ah, damn it, this is the wings again. The Yashi wings. Oh, fwa, 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 fwa. they go. Nice, made it across this time. No, oh, you think I'm a bit of a numpty, don't you? You thought I was really gonna fall for that trap right there? Oh, just, I saw that one coming. I saw it right in the damn tea leaves I've been reading. Those leaves, they say, don't go down there, buddy. It's not gonna be very good for you, is it? By George, they were correct. By Harry, they might be right. This is, this is not that hard to get some coins. Whew. 
Oh man, this is harrowing. He keeps just gently grazing Mario's hat. Shit. It's alright, it's alright. Ooh, it's getting close. It's getting close. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Let me through, let me through, let me through. Yeet. Yump. There we go. Wow. Okay. I'm going to take a quick break before I do this ghost house, so don't go away, folks. Don't touch the internet dial. I will be RB. Okay, it's, it's going. We're getting there. So, yep, we're down, down to the count here. So yeah, I'm gonna just head right to the end. And then tomorrow, I will work on Star Road and stuff. I 
think. That should be a good way to end this. And I'm going to go right up to midnight. Ah, Jesus, the audio immediately is fucking up. Hold on. Um, I'm going to go right up to midnight so that I can play a little bit of 3D All-Stars when it releases. Not for very long, you know, but we're going to do it. There we go. Audio is good. Hmm. Uh. Should I just... Oh! Now that's different. Whoa! What? Ah, uh, no, no, no. You're not gonna trick me. Never go for the first door in the ghost house. Yeah, because I gotta go for the first door in the ghost house. God damn it. Blast you. That's a trap. That's a trap right there. Ah, damn it. It was probably that one, too. Oh, nope. It's this one. Well, that works out. Woo! That one was a uh, pretty quick ghost house, actually. And being the last one, hmm, bit underwhelming, to be to be frank. But you know what? I'm not Frank. Hi, Biggie. Hi. Have we met? Have we met at some time? I've got a great memory, so sometimes I forget. I've got a great memory. <laughs> Don't got a great memory for names, nor faces. Well, faces. I never, um, as uh, Eric Idle put it in the Dudley Do Right movie, uh, I never forget a face, but s names sometimes escape me. Yeah, yeah, same. I can, I, if I see somebody, I recognize them, I know I know them. Name isn't there, though. The Deadly do right movie was actually pretty fucking funny. Alright, most people didn't give it a shot. Because Brendan Fraser wasn't really... I don't know. It was okay. It was as good as the fucking cartoon. Alfred Molina as Snidely Whiplash was spot on. Hey, that's just exactly what Snidely Whiplash looked like and sounded like. So, it was pretty cool. Oh, fuck's sake! The sound! God damn it, it keeps going out. Hold on, hold on, just a, just one second, it'll be back on. And the sound will be working. There we go. Shit. Hold on. Ah, my screen didn't come back on. God damn it. Hold on. God damn it. Came up over there so I can tell that you guys can see it. But it didn't come up on here so I can't see it. God damn it. Yes? There we go. Jeez Louise! I have such, such technical issues. God damn it! Fuck! I don't know what else I could have done there, because the fucking Koopa was just right in the way. Oh, god damn it! <sighs> Jump too early. It's infuriating when that fucking happens. <sighs> fuck, fuck. Whoo. 
Ooh. Let's try that again. Let's try that one more time. Right. Okay, doing okay. Shit. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna die immediately so that I can get the full lives again. Kill me. K no, kill me. God damn it! Can't even die when I want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Game over. Moving on. Okay, okay, it's it's th four levels to the end of the game, so it's, it's... Am I bothered? I mean, a little, but... I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Are you worried? I certainly am. T I am t worried. What the fuck? The second th th didn't spawn. The fucking one I needed to get to didn't spawn. It just wasn't there. What the fuck was I supposed to do? Fuck. Sometimes you go way fucking faster than you'd think. You're supposed to be able to. I'm not gonna fucking go through the rest of this on one fucking... Fuck, 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 Life. Gavalo. All right, I'm just gonna create a suspend point with the five lives. Because at this point... Vengeance is mine! Huh? Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck you! God damn it! I fucking hate this, like, the fucking, like, twisted shit! It's not any fucking harder, it's just annoying. Fuck! <sighs> First try on that shit. Fuck! Fuck!
Oh, I could have had the fucking checkpoint. Oh well. Fuck. Why do some of them spawn sometimes and other times they do not? Coins now. I also find it pretty fucking cruel that they don't give you f more like um they don't give you the goddamn thing. What you call it? Uh, they don't give you the cape. Because obviously that'd be the better thing here. Let me get that. Let me get that shit! Ah, oh, damn. Could have gotten the one up. Oh, well. I just want to be done! Ah. Oh, feels fucking good. Well, let's fucking load the suspend point. Fuck. Fuck! Oh, it doesn't come back up! Shit, that's fucked. You have to fucking commit immediately. Nope. Nope, the fucking Koopa's just in the way. So you just gotta fucking commit. That's not what I meant to do. Yoshi! My boy. I guess I just gotta... Ooh. No! No! Uh, damn it! You do not take my Yoshi away from me. Fuck off. What I hate, what I hate more than anything is an obstacle that is not difficult because it is fast. It is because it is too goddamn slow. I shouldn't have to fucking dodge shit by going fucking faster than it. I shouldn't have to slow down to meet the fucking speed of your obstacle. Fuck off. Stop. Yeah, there should not ever be a moment like this where I have to fucking stop playing for a second while I wait for your bullshit to get out of the way. I hate that shit. All 
All right, suspend point here. Oh, I can eat eat the watch. As the Yashi can. No! My boy. Shit. Fuck! I didn't fucking jump! Ah. Ah. Ah! Ah, fuck. Ah, well, there goes Yashi. Oh, well. I'm j I'm about getting to the end here right now, okay? I know, I know. It, it saddens me, too, to see him go, but we gotta... We gotta move, guys. We gotta keep it moving. Fuck! Fuck! Ooh, ha! Ha! Shit, shit. Oh, you bastards. Oh. All right. <laughs> let's let's get in here. It's a uh, it's the one. I'm just going to make this so we don't have to sit through that cutscene again. It's not like modern cutscenes. This is not crazy long, but it's enough that over the few times I might die, it can get pretty, pretty freaking annoying. I can't hit that fucking block. You teasers. Fuck. Fuck. Whew. Ah. Here is when I hit the block. Oh, fuck you. Fuck off with that bullshit. No. You can't just turn the fucking other way and expect us to keep up. That is a fucking... That is just a trap for someone going the first time. There's no way you can fuck... Oh! There's no way that you can fucking anticipate that shit. Okay, okay. Continuing onwards. Then it goes back. That's what fucked me up. There's a little down step. Four climbing back up. God, that is some ripe bullshit right there. But whatever. I, I made it. Fuck you. A little escalator. What are they escalate, dry boats? Hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip. Little skeleton bands, I love them. I love them little skeleton boys. Shit. Oh. There we go. Fuck. Fuck. I 
needed him. In my hour of need, he shall return. The witches to say any moment. There we go. Fuck, 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 fuck. Let me just go, 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 go. Gotta get over. It. Oh, come on, where's the fucking door? There it is. And we're gonna create a suspend point over here. Oh god, it's one of the seesaw fucking bosses. I hate these. Shit. Gotta get him before it fucking twists, but it twists so fast. Oh my fucking god, just fucking get him! Shouldn't have to fucking do it so many goddamn times. There we fucking go, Jesus Christ. Ah! Okay, fuck's sake. Oh, just kick it at it. Mario has defeated Larry Cooper in Castle Number Seven. All that is left is Bowser's Castle, where Princess Toadstool is being held. Can Mario rescue her? And restore peace and restore peace to dinosaur land. Let's call that because it's where the Yoshi's at. All right, let's do it, bitches. It's the end. It's the end of the game, and it's over soon. Uh, three. I believe it's three. Ah, yes. The Mecha Koopas. <sighs> I'm in the zone. I'm in the zone. I'm gonna get this. Look out. Watch out for the Mecha Koopas. Dastardly villains. You need... You need to watch for... Th ah, shit! I got tricked. I didn't think they'd come through that one, but they came through that one, so... It fucked me up. I fuck it, I'll just... Nope. Nope, I was correct the first time. Fuck! God damn it. Ah, sometimes Mario slides in weird, unpredictable fucking ways, and I really dislike it. Like, I should have just fucking stopped there, but no, Mario decided to slide a little extra. So I got fucked over. There we go. Five. Six. Seven. I don't know, seven, sure. Oh, hey. Oh, well, or not. 
Whoa, shit. Fuck, dude. Well, let's just go through one. Well, okay, that's not... <laughs> Shit! I wasn't expecting the fireball to go off, so I panicked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me just... I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna... I'm gonna fucking... Uh, slam right in here. Oh no, game over, but I start right back there. With full lives. That's what I'm really here for. Yep, continue. Alright, let's go for three again. Because I know, I know the solutions to three. And then after I bait it, I'm going to make a suspend point so that I don't have to go through it again. Don't have to worry about that tricksy bullshit. There we go. And then we're gonna go right in here. Okay. Looks like the way to go is to just fucking run for it. Who? I should not have hesitated. Or wait, what am I doing? I had a suspend point. All right, let's try six. Uh oh, oh, it's water. Hmm, weird. But I'll take it. Come on, go back, go back, go back, go back, go the fuck back. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck! God damn it. Ooh, ah, fuck! Alright, let's try five again, because it seemed like just a matter of going as fast as I fucking can! Ah, shit. Hold on, let me, let me try that again. But this time I'll wait until they've gone down. And as soon... As soon as they lift back up, let's go, 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 go! Oh, fuck yeah, made it. Don't know what this is, but I'm going to create a suspend point. Because it looks ominous. Oh, uh, whoops. Turn that back on. Hey, what is this? A ninji? The fuck? That is. Yes, found boss time. Wait until he comes out. Hold on, I'm gonna actually reset the Elgato one last time so we can get the full music. Come on now. Come on now. Okay, suspend point. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that classic boss music. Whoops, I missed.
There we go. That's two. And I'm actually going to create a suspend point there. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. It's okay. Ooh. Oh. Oh, thank you, princess. Thank you, princess bitch. Go on, then. Throw me down with some boys. Can't do much till you throw me some boys. Go on then. There we go. Shit. Oh, I hit the propeller fan. Propeller blade, I should say. I may as well go back to here. I didn't. Oh, he didn't do much. Go on then. Throw me them boys. Them little Mecha Coopers. Damn, went off screen. This final boss fight is not too difficult, but yeah, it's still a bit harrowing. We got Bowser on deck. I'm just gonna create another suspend point. Ah, frick! I'm gonna load another susp that suspend point back up. Cause I guffed it up. Nope, loading again. Oh, jeez. There we go. I hit him one. for the second mushroom. Whoa. Whoa. Go on, then. God, you're destroying your own mans. Oh my fucking god. Nope. Oh my fucking god, come on. Fucking god damn it. <sighs> fucking stop it. <laughs> ah. God damn it! I keep fucking bopping them into each other. I don't care, I don't care. I got it, I got it. No! The fucking music! It's fuck! God damn audio. Sucks! The fuck, Elgato? Figure your shit out. God damn it. Nope. I will not accept that I'm gonna fucking... Fuck. You.
fucking god damn it! Let me fucking get you! Just one! There we go. I got him. He's fucking dead. There we go. I fucking killed the guy. He's fucking dead! Mario's adventure is over. Mario, the princess, Yashi, and his friends are going to take a vacation. Hmm. And uh, we got Mario 64, which we'll play on Friday, because I'm getting Mario 3D All-Stars. Tomorrow we will go back in this game and get some of the secret stuff, you know? Ah, <sighs> nice little fireworks show. All right. I want to thank you all for watching, whether it's in the past, the present, or the future with the past broadcast tab, which has the last 60 days of streams. I actually messed that up last time. Um, but yeah, it has the last 60 days. You can also find uh, the s past streams on the Twitch Archive YouTube channel, Iggy Kid Twitch Archive, which is linked down below. That has all of my past streams, not just the last 60 days. If you missed the beginning of this stream or you want to see any of the other ones, that's the way to do it. Um, I'm also going to set up some highlights and stuff that you can check out later. Uh, you, If you want to see future streams, check out my uh, schedule down below. You can also find a more specific schedule with actual times on the main channel page, but that's all subject to change. So you should follow me on Twitter at IggyDKid if you want to get a tweet every time that I go live, because I do that. Uh, I'd also recommend you follow me on YouTube at uh, Iggy and the Ape. That's also linked down below. I'd really appreciate it. I actually just put a video out reviewing Fantasy Flight's Fallout board game. Super, super interesting situation. Go watch that. You'll see all about it. You could also follow me, which is just hit the heart up above. If you have an account, it's free for you, and it helps out the channel a great deal, so I'd really appreciate it if you, you know, considered it. So with that, I want to thank you once again for tuning in, for inviting me into your home, whether it's on a computer, a tablet, a phone, a laptop, a gaming console, however you watch today. I really appreciate it, and I hope that I brought some levity and entertainment to your life. I do my best, and... You know, I I just really hope that it was some form of entertainment for you. And, hey, listen, if nobody else has ever told you this, I'll tell you this right now. You're a good kid. Thanks for watching, everybody. Good night. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you from the Yashis and from Iggy. Good night. Goodbye. Look at, look at all of these friends. These friends going by. Enjoy that for just a minute. Good night. Thank you.